That is absolutely There's precision driving from Rossi, wheel. and it's going to be a drag race down the back straight. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the finale of the AR12 Racing Championship presented by Elgato Gaming. Today, we are jumping on Le Mans as we drive around in Aston Martin DBR9s. We're going to be joined up with Mr. Super GT as we do some commentary on this amazing finale race. This is, without a doubt, the best lineup of racers I have ever seen in one of these types of races. So, congrats to these guys for making it this, this far. And I think you'll see some of their skills uh, shine through in today's video. They're going up for some amazing prizes. They've already all got their Elgato racing jerseys, which I should remind you are running out very, very quickly. So you guys can go check them out on the store uh, and pick one up while you still can. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy, guys. There you go. Let's hope not everyone cuts. But we should perhaps let everyone know that in the race people might be cutting across the pit lane, but that is allowed. Yeah. It's, it's a really weird pit lane. It's like it, it's like a million zigzags. Yeah. So, so the prizes. Um, yeah, we should talk about the prizes. I, yeah, I feel yeah. like we've not spoken about them for a little while. The winner getting a track day. Yeah. So that's a really good prize. Obviously a local one to whoever wins. Yeah, the winner of this entire race is getting a full-on legit track day experience, which is just awesome, really. Yeah, it's really that's a really good prize and be good to translate some game racing into some real racing. I would love to see that. They should whoever wins should probably make something like cool. So just look at the prize here actually. First place would get of course that uh, track day local to them plus an Elgato HD 60S and the stream deck. That's a lot so, of stuff. Plus the place swag would... bag and the jersey they've already got. Yes, plus all of that. So all the finalists got the the jersey, right? Yeah. All of them. That's cool. And then second place gets the HD60S plus the stream deck. And then third place gets the Elgato HD60S. And to be honest, third place getting the HD60S, there could be anyone. Any one of these 16 could get in the top three. Yeah, Any that's of them. the thing. Yeah, qualifying is really, really, really important around here. You've got really long straights. The car's going to be maxing out for a lot of the race. Yeah. And because you're in the same car, you can't always go past people so qualifying yeah really important as always so i heard that our boy here dj lime he's DJ. Um, yeah we all know dj lime he's put in actually a, a secret message on the car somewhere so anyone who can spot that well done to you yeah i guess we should say look look for it for yourself but there are some places where you can find where it is uh it, yes. it's quite cool <laughs> Um, but yeah, DJ's done an awesome job with all of these paints. They're all available to download for anyone who wants them. Uh, you can just get in the car and go get the paint job and stuff like that. There's even some of them that are in Forza Horizon 3 as well. So if you have, like, I, I know the, uh, the C7.R is in there. There is the MX-5, I think, is in there as well. Basically, if the car is in Forza Horizon 3, the paint's in there as well. What are your predictions for this race? Who do you think is going to go 1, 2, 3? It's really there hard to call. There are a lot of really, really good drivers. I, I couldn't tell you who. I'm, I'm going to go with people who have experience at top level esports. So like, so the, um, the pressure won't get to these kind of people. I'm, okay. I'm thinking, the likes of Harmonic, uh, Zoom, Razor, yep. Force One, um, a, a Race Boy. I mean, he said that he doesn't want to finish last but I think he could realistically get up there and actually we see Zoom up there yeah I was just we on saw board with Zoom watching me cross the line he's yeah. a very quick lap we saw him in race 4 in the MX5s absolutely destroy the whole field he was so far ahead it was a half a second close. a lap yeah it was half a second a lap in front of second place and so we definitely know that he's got pace he's got speed and actually look at that f4h racers someone who should never be discounted because he can always seem to just come up with an amazing lap and he's he's done it there up into third and tx3 mitch as well with a nice first lap mitch the new addition to tx3 as well as as well as our boy liam t uh, officially now a part of evr Oh yeah, Craviator is, is um, very, very fast driver indeed. And had he been here, I think he would have been one to to look out for for the win. But uh, but of course, there's no shortage of JSR drivers. We would have had six. Yeah. But still five. I mean, that's nearly a third of the grid. Razor currently has the slowest lap time out of anyone at a 4:06. 
And uh, just behind him in 13th place is Force One with a 356, but it is dirty. So, yeah, so uh, he's going to be starting a little bit lower. I mean, so Razor. So Razor just going for the safe, clean lap to begin with. It's good to do that, actually, just to get a bank and lap in, even yeah, if it is quite something. slow. Just as long as it's clean, you're going to beat a fair few people. But um, the first laps, we've seen it in previous qualifying sessions, it's not always going to be the fastest lap. Well, probably never is going to be the fastest lap because you're, you're starting at a standing start. Of course. So yeah. lap two and three here, these are the crucial laps. Only two laps, really, to try and set your best one. But then again, these are the best guys in the game, so they're probably good enough to be able to just push entire for an entire lap around here. And there you go, Turbio currently going fastest and immediately gets pushed down by Rossi, who put in a 353. Yep, so getting very close to that 352, we might see someone come across this time around with a 352. GTR Knee puts in a 353, or 354, excuse me, as well. Uh, JSR Zoom, who did have the fastest lap, is just about to come across the line. He might have got his lap dirty after that. Uh, yeah. Hysterical seemed to have parked it on a curb for some reason. And Zoom is coming across the line and setting a fifth place, not improving upon his time, actually. Okay. Perhaps he got a dirty lap there. It's very uh, Harmonic positive. up into second place. So he's definitely one, out, uh, one to look out for. He won race number two, was it? Or was he, no, sorry, he was second place behind Johnson okay. at race number two. So yeah, I, my, my lap time on this circuit, time to aim for was a 3.52, we were saying. My lap time yeah. was a, a, a 4.06, which, I mean, <laughs> there was room for improvement there, definitely. <laughs> We'll uh, yeah, full, 14 seconds room of improvement. Yep. Um, it's it's a hard one. It can it can be very hard actually. Um, maximizing the track limits is really important around here. Yeah. You really do have to be so smooth on this car. This car is um, it is very grippy, but it can it can slide on the throttle if you're not nice to it. Yeah. So you really do have to nurse it around the corners quite nicely. This car. I found the car itself isn't the problem, it's just figuring out where and where you cannot go full throttle. The good thing to do is like watch what we're doing right now, watch some of the fast guys, see where they break, see what they do. Yep. Try and copy some of these lines. So Turbio is coming across the line for his second flying lap and he is going to set a 354.1, uh, improving a little bit, jumps up to 6th place actually. Jess Rossi goes faster, 52.7. Very nice, I'm going to jump up so over Harmonic. He's put himself in a very good position there. Harmonic is flying around the circuit. He is pushing for that top spot. And oh, he might he get just... held up a bit on that curb. Yeah, he just grazed that curb and that's going to slow him down. Yep, that's not a, an improvement from him. Rossi proving that he can be done. Just dipping into the 52s there. Good lap. Very good lap. Um, It's seriously insane. Like, I urge every single person watching this, just go try it. See what type of lap time you can do. And that's when you'll see just how stupid fast they are. Yeah, you get this a lot. Um, you watch some of the best guys in games, any game, and you think, yeah, I could do that, I could do that. And then you try and then you realize just how good they are. Yeah, Force One is like, I choke so bad, but it looks like everyone else choked harder. It's really hard to nail in a whole lap around here. And it's a risk versus reward. Do you go for the lap? Do you push so much? you risk making a big mistake and i think a lot of the guys did make the mistake oh another side by side grid yes pole position front row jsr rossi the scotsman on pole next to mr force one from the states row number two harmonic and f4h racers go to row number three and that's tips three mitch with a very good performance mitch 555 on fifth turbio in sixth place mr veeps on seventh alongside ams nightmares actually had a Good performance there. GTR Knee on the fifth row with JSR Hysterical. In 11th, he had a bad run in qualifying next to Race Boy, who's looking just to not finish last. <laughs> According to his own words. <laughs> Dr. Bex, 13th with Liam T. There he is. He's our boy, 14th. All right, and away they go. Off the line, jump on the game camera. And we're just going to watch this from the back and see how things go. Hopefully everything stays clean. And everyone seems to be through the first oh, quarter. There's a bit of drifting. Contact. JSR Hysterical. He drops a couple of places. But I think most of Hysterical's them are awake back. quite clean. Hysterical's at the back now anyway, so that's sort of that out. That's, yeah. Oh, oh Race Boy getting a bit. Race Boy. 
Yeah. That was that going was three wide there. into there. That was just going to be risky every single time. And I think Might that's Turbio fun. going back to his old roots, and uh, he's drifting. Turbio, Race Boy have both dropped off the pace in 14th and 15th place, respectively. Hopefully, they don't have too much damage on their cars. They're just going to try and nurse it back, I believe. And Hysterical is in 13th place now. Uh, again, hopefully, he doesn't have too much damage. Nearly the same. Jess Azun's had a very good start. But um, Force One has actually jumped past Rossi into the lead. Oh, very nice. Wow, JSR um, Rossi getting very close to Force One. Yeah, we know just how good Rossi is. You very, can very good. You feel indeed. the pressure. Like, it's intense. These guys are so evenly matched, but it's just going to come down to can they just not buckle under pressure? Not make one error that's going to yeah. let the guy behind through. So, Race Boy's actually in last with Turbio here at the back, but. I think they can still make the most of something here. I mean, it's going to be a 20-minute race. Yeah. We're looking at 20 minutes here, so there's plenty of time to try and catch up. Wow, this battle for first is close. Oh, Rossi's so taking a look, possibly one, around the outside. Force one having to go defensive into this turn. Just have Rossi. Oh, they touch a bit. Touch a bit. I was so close to um, Force one being spun around there. Luckily, Rossi, I mean, he's judged it to perfection. And the fourth one is just going to get away there. Unlike the earlier rounds where we saw some people in second place just settling for second. Yep. There's an incentive here. They want to win the race. They want to win the best prize and, you know, win the race outright. Yeah, there's no more working together for place one, two, three. No, no, no. Yeah. It is first place. There's going to be no team alliances here. And they all actually opt, the top three at least, to stay out this lap actually i think that, actually, that race that's mitch the pits? <laughs> absolutely mitch? flying into the pits that looks yeah. hilarious on the screen just him straight lining it like off road so i don't know if any of those guys who who did go into the pits got damaged but uh they've opted to go in early and we'll yeah. see how that goes for them i don't think anyone did get damaged i think maybe race boy possibly but hopefully i hope that no one did there's actually a little battle for fourth and fifth place breaking uh, emerging quite slowly with yep. uh, racers harmonic as well. He's Let's looking for that here. space into Turch Rouge. It's a really, really difficult corner. This one really bumpy on the exit and not the best place to overtake. So all holding station at the moment. Jess, I'll zoom up into fifth place. He's had an amazing start. Started 11th and he's already putting pressure on the top four. Rossi, I think, is taking a look and and Force One is doing a little bit of blocking. Wow, they are so close. Is he going to take a look? No, he's not. He's just going to sit behind and and try to keep pulling. Just absolutely wow. nailing their breaking points there. Bit of contact on the exit. One set of course one. Yeah, this is good for Harmonic in third place. They, He's going to want these two to start slowing each other down a little bit. So Raz Racers is putting some pressure on Harmonic right now. And Rossi's still pushing hard for that first place. Yeah, so the two F4H guys here are doing very well. First and fourth, solid solid positioning at the moment. Harmonic looks like he's a little bit on the back foot. And uh, Racers is going to get into his slipstream here and look up the inside, possibly. Meanwhile, and Rossi and Force One are going wheel to wheel up into this heavy braking zone. Can he make the pass around the outside? That'd yes, be a very good move if he can, can do it. Oh, is he going to get the run? That is absolutely They're precision driving from Rossi. Wheel. And it's going to be a drag race down the back straight. Absolutely incredible driving between the two of them. Force One is going to have the inside eventually. Yeah. But then if Rossi here can hold it around the outside, he's, he's going to get the inside line. Yeah. They are within four feet to each other. Two feet. Wow. This is great driving. Rossi's going to have it. Rossi's going to have it around the Force outside. Force One, not... not leaving it in there and Rossi makes the move happen so a good move there and he's going to go defensive now into the next turn Rossi just blocking him off he's going to get a poor exit here but then just gets a little bit of a bump on Force 1 so he's not going to get away here I don't think Force 1 is still going to put the pressure on him yep. and try and get that place back actually Racers has gone up into third place we just missed that off camera meanwhile what has happened to Harmonic Harmonic was in third place and he seems yes. to have dropped out Wow, they're so close to each other still. Is anyone going to opt for some early-ish pit stops? Does Force One think he can get the undercut going? Perhaps it's, uh, yeah, it's a good time, perhaps. No, if wants... Rossi's going in early. Rossi's the one to go in early then. Okay. All right. We will see how that works out for them. 
So as Rossi goes into the pits, that leaves Ethel H with a 1-2 at the moment. Race boy doing quite well as well, from last position all the way up to 6th already. Uh, with still yep, a couple he's... of people in front of him in each pit. Yeah, so race boy actually, yeah, solid um, driving at the moment. Going into that early pit stop has Works paid really well, yeah. Just our zoom on the back of racers. Zoom, we said it before, he's, he was absolutely scintillating at his race. He was just so quick. And he's proven again here, coming through from 11th. Now I'm currently in third place. Obviously, he hasn't taken his pit stop. He's gaining but... as well. Yeah, he's oh, got a racer's looking at a little block. Yeah, so not a good start for Race Boy. He got a little bit unlucky, got involved with an accident, but he's kept at it and yeah, he's now driving back. very well. Yeah, he's going to gain a couple more positions. Well, he's gained already quite a lot. So let's take a look at uh, where's he gone now, Mr. Rossi. Rossi's down in seventh position, but on fresh tires. And the good thing for him, he. He's taken his pit stop and he has come out in clean air. So yeah. that's crucial. I mean, if he comes out and he's losing time behind someone, that's going to hand Force One the initiative on the pit stops. There is absolutely nobody around and Force One will probably look to take his pit stop. Actually, yeah, he'll probably take his pit stop this lap, I would imagine. And racers still very close to each other. And there's a little bit of yeah. contact there. Bit of a punt into that one. But yeah. racers, this, this is really good driving from racers. Um, just not buckling under pressure. Just he knows he's breaking points. He's nowhere to turn. He knows where to turn. He knows where to accelerate, and he's just sticking to his guns. He knows what to do here. Just don't Very buckle under the pressure. Yeah, exactly. So let's see yeah. who is making their pit stop. Force so, one does not. Neither does racers, racers does or not. zoom. Okay, so they're all going to have to go in at the end of this lap number four. Yep, none of the top five off to actually. So people who've dropped out is Harmonic and GTR Need. Uh, oh, okay. Dropped out, and as well Razor, of course. Um, Johnson sadly couldn't make it. Yeah. Which is, is, it really is a shame because I think he would have been up there. It's good to have more people who could potentially win the race. But... Yeah, Johnson was uh, one of my top bets for for this race, just based on his absolute domination in the uh, was it X? No, it wasn't X class. It was P class cars. And, yes. Uh, at Spa, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, is Race it? Boy is dropping a lot of places right now. I don't know what's going on right there. I think he's just gone in for his pit stop. I, th I don't think he actually took it earlier, but now he's he's, he's just done it. All right, so Zoom is... I mean, he's not that far off racers, but he, he is did, quite a ways. He did gain through the second chicane, but then he just got into the back of racers, bumped him a little bit, and then he lost quite a bit of momentum from that. Nightmare and Veeps as well are having a close battle here. I mean, There's yeah, going to be a hell of a lot of traffic on the pit exit, I can tell you that. Yeah, uh, uh, the one I want to watch is Rossi, and Tixley Mitch is going to come into play as well. So Tixley Mitch has already pitted. So he's, he's already pitted, Rossi. he's currently in seventh place. Yes. So it's really between Rossi and Force One for the lead. And then we have TXV Mitch, who might filter in between Veeps and Nightmare. So it's going to be really close between all these guys for okay. the top six. So we'll so here see we go. this funny pit stop. Uh, so this is what we're doing, yeah. Just absolutely fly through. <laughs> it's the fastest way in. Oh. Contact in the pits. Yeah, plenty of contact. Uh, Zoom, currently inside of racers. <laughs> so Force One goes in. Uh, actually, Zoom, I think, jumped racers like physically see, jumped him whoa we went like underneath him yeah, yeah i've <laughs> never see seen that happens. before let's see how that one works out all right we do have that this so force one gets out ahead force one is ahead uh, racers does get back ahead okay so that sorted so that's, itself out and we see good. mitch or rossi excuse me ripping it along the start line and he is going to take first position right now flies rossi's, it past force one rossi's just done enough to get into the lead. He put in some amazing laps there, but there's still time and, and Force One is still there. We'll see there's still time. There. Rossi is a very cool customer. I'd imagine he can handle the pressure, but I mean, he's still got a lap here to try and uh, just keep it solid. He's got about a two second gap there. He doesn't have to take everything to the limit too much. This could get very, very interesting into the final half a lap as Zoom has been really putting the pressure on racers and giving them a couple of nudges and hopefully uh, if he does go past it's a, it's a nice clean fair move hopefully yeah that is that is the goal yeah it looks like the top two are fairly solid at the moment they've got enough of a gap to not have to worry really about the guy behind 
But Racers has not got that gap at all. He doesn't have the luxury. Yeah, Racers is doing some amazing Death blocking. Zoo. He's going to be right in his mirrors. That's all he can see in his rear view right now. Yeah, Racers knows he's there as well. Gives him in a fact, little bump playing the psychological game. TXV Mitch is, is having a really good race as well. And Zoom looking to the outside. That is a... Uh, this one. He's just going to get run out pass. wide. And now uh, Mitch actually alongside Zoom. I don't know how Mitch got involved in that. He was way back. Yeah, he took a, he took a really nice line for that bend. Uh, Racers and Zoom having to go side by side, kind of, and just having to back off a little bit to let each other through. So Mitch now trying to make the most of that. This hopefully doesn't get messy. So Mitch, Mitch backs out a little bit. Yeah. He wants to play it safe. That's very clever driving from him. Oh, just wow, and they are so close to each other. Racer's a Mitch... bit slow through there, getting on the brakes a little too early. And Zoom is going to have the outside line here. Not going to be a good overtaking place. How's and... Mitch going to do? There's Mitch. Oh. That's what I was thinking. Zoom just about didn't give him enough space there on the exit. And he's just tapped Racer's. And now Mitch is going to have the line coming into the Porsche curves. Unless Racer's can hang it around the outside here. But it's going to be very hard to do that. Wow, Mitch may have just capitalized on that battle between those two guys. So race is actually, he's just done it. He's Talking done about hanging just... around the outside. Oh, very good racing. He's got the left They're hand so in there. They're so close. Zoom trying to, get, trying to get in on the act and race is just wow. coming up there. A bit of a punt from Zoom. Naughty punt, but There's into the left again. Race is going to have the position. Now Zoom's going to get on the inside. Wow. Oh, race is so, so <laughs> This is so close. Such brilliant driving. Rossi's going to win the race behind uh, with Force One behind, but third place or fourth place now the battle is on. Zoom just doing enough to get the position back. Wow! Well, I'm breathless after that. That was oh. incredible. Oh, oh no! Punt. Zoom getting punted. Yeah, Zoom got punted into the uh, into the dirt there. Oh, no. Yeah, a little bit naughty there uh, for the Zoom, final game. You finished fourth in our hearts. Yeah, Zoom. I mean, Zoom deserved fourth place there. Luckily, that wasn't for any prizes. There was no prizes on the line there. Yeah. So, but wow, amazing that was end to that insane! Race. Brilliant racing. <laughs> Racers doing so so well to hold his line and keep that third place. Amazing. That was the best race I have ever seen in Forza. Massive congratulations to JSR Rossi for winning. That was the incredible. AR12 RC just just absolutely blitzed it from the start. Uh, well, I mean, once he got past Force One, yep. a couple of good laps and just jumped in the pit stops. Really good. Definitely.